So we're here at Qingdao Made Fitness Equipment Company. We're going to go in, we're going to have a look at the barbells, we're going to have a look at how they're made, we're going to have a look at the testing, uh, tensile strength testing, harness testing, to really get a good idea of what goes into making the barbells. This is heat treatment. This part over here, so you can see it, it's closed, it's not working. But that's because they work at night because electricity is cheaper. So it's little things like that that help to keep the prices down on the equipment. So this is uh, this is just the the bar when it comes in on its own. So it's not quite straight. It's got a layer of um, oxidation on the outside. You know, it's definitely not something you'd want to um, in your gym quite yet. So they're firing up the machine where they're going to strip the top layer up. Now they're putting it through here for the first of two heat treatments. It's heated up to 870 degrees. So this is the final oven. So the bar gets stripped, so it's a nice clean piece of steel. Then it gets straightened. Then it gets heat treated. Then it gets straightened again, and then this is the final heat treatment. It's been heat treated twice, and straightened twice. It then goes through this machine, where it looks inside of the metal, sees if there's any cracks, or, you know, really guaranteeing like, the, the top standards, the, the absolute top quality that you can get in a bar bar. The straightness of this bar, 0.3 millimeter. The bar has been grinded down now, so now, it came out of the initial machine at 29 mil, so now it's been grinded down to 28 mil. So now they're going to send it through here um, and give it the final polish. We've got a nice 28 mil uh, finished bar. Very smooth, very straight. So after it's been polished um, by the machine, it, it still has no end, so it can't hold the far end. So it, it needs to be put down at the end and then it needs to be shaped. So then it's going to go through this machine and then that's going to do that. This machine now is going to test the, the max weight that the bar can take. So the bar size is supposed to be able to take 2,000 pounds of pressure or 1,500 pounds of pressure. How many times will they just bend it once and then straight? As, as usually, it tests like this. You put the 900. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the, 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 the kilo press yeah, there, okay, yeah. 20, 20, um, 12 hours mm -hmm. city that city, city this place. Ah, okay. And tomorrow, 20 hours later, and... Ah, okay, okay, so 12 hours it would be on overnight. Once it's gone through the nail process, it then goes from here to another factory. So the finish, whether it's a terracotta finish, whether it's a hard chrome finish, you know, whatever the finish is, um, that would go to a different location. Because to have those finishes, there are special treatments that require lots of different chemicals. Um, you know, it's a bit of a dirty process and they need um, 
you know, water cleaning plants, things like that. So it would go from this factory to another factory to have that treatment and then back again. And this is where they make the sleeves. So you got the raw end and then here as well and they bring these together. And So once it's been welded together in two parts, it then comes into this machine. They're basically going to shape it. Um, some of them will have, you know, just the end like this. Uh, others will have the band, um, you know, the notch so you can put the band in. So once they're done being machined on the outside, and then they come out. So you've either got, as I say, you know, you can see the end. It's just, it's serrated. Okay. And then we got again a nice line to put your band in there. Whether you're going to go, um, you know, whether you want it branded or you know, if you're in the gym, you want to put colours on to show the different weights of the. So once they're done, just like the rest of the barbell, it will go from here to a different factory to have the uh, the outside treatment on. Uh, whether it's going to be a hard foam finish or all that sort of stuff. So this is a truckload of uh, barons that will come back from the uh, treatment, doing a visual inspection um, after um, they've come back from the treatment factory just to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to look. So what they're doing here is they're, um, they're treating it with uh, steamed salt water. So it goes in this machine for 72 hours, um, surrounded by uh, moisture. Once they've done that, it comes over here, so on a visual inspection, if after 72 hours, they can see rust, so these are ones that have failed. So if these fail, then you can see the rust in there. Okay, you can see the rust on the outside. So of course, this is a bad batch. So again, this extra testing they do just guarantees that higher standard. Okay. You can see parts of the barbell with rust on. You know, so these are ones that have failed. So um, this level of testing means that it doesn't leave the factory and it doesn't get to the final customer. And then we have ones down here. No problem at all. It's gone through 72 hours, moisture treatment, and it's fine. So these would be good for the customer. Once you come back from treatment, it then has the bearing put inside, whether that's going to be a bushing or whether that's going to be a needle bearing. We're going to get one of the bar ends put on. If you want to brand your bar, one of the things that's quite nice to do is that the have your logo, have your, your word in whatever colour you want, put on the cap and then that goes into this part of the bar. Uh, no, it's without brand. 